When we talk about a pre-check, that simply means we're going to go through the meter and make sure it's working properly and is ready to use. This is a critical step because if your meter is not right, any tests you do are not going to be right. One of the most common pre-checks we want to do is to actually check the meter leads. In order to do that, we're going to turn our meter on to ohms. See right now we have OL reading. We're going to take our two leads together and we should zero out, which we do. One of the most common pre-checks we see people overlook is to check the internal fuses for the amp meter function. In order to do that, we're simply going to turn our meter to the ohm scale. We're going to use our red lead, and we're going to place it here where you would use the test lead for a 10 amp scale. You'll see right here, we have basically a very low resistance reading, say our fuse is good. You can do the same thing if you do have a milliamp scale, and use the lower port here and do the same check. That way we know we have good fuses in both settings. If you get an OL or a very high resistance, it means that fuse is blown. You can simply take the back cover off and you can replace whichever one you need to. The one on the right is the 10 amp fuse. The one on the left is the 400 milliamp fuse. If you were to use your own meter and you weren't getting accurate results because you had bad leads, you go and test a sensor. You think you get a proper reading and it turns out because you had defective leads or a defective meter, the sensor is actually bad when you thought you were checking and it was a good sensor. If you do your checks first, you know your meter works properly and you know all your tests can be done properly.